Hey, what's up neighbors? A Flare here bringing you another Destiny video. Today's video, we're going over the last ritual weapon of the season, which is the Komodo 4 FR. Now, start off with this guy. No rush to get this thing. I know I just picked it up, but it's not very good. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. I mean, it's got it's got some unique roles to it. Box breathing is pretty useless as a PVP perk just cuz it can already one hit supers the head without box breathing so it's it, it's a little uh a little redundant but to get this weapon i'm sure everyone knows the, the method to getting this at this point and it's to use the arbalist since it's a special linear fusion you'll always have ammo for it and that's the way to one way to do it or there's also a glitch that is in the game right now and if you do this and this I'll show you what it does. Okay, so as I was saying, if you have Fusion Rifle Scavenger and Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger slotted in, in this order specifically, sounds weird, but it has to be in this order specifically, you can maybe pick up heavy ammo by picking up special bricks. And this works in PvP. So you might be able to run Sleeper pretty much as a, a main weapon and get this over and done with pretty quickly at the moment. I didn't find this glitch. I just came across this right before I finished getting the weapon actually on Cheese Forever's channel. So I'll link his channel in the description for the glitch. But this makes getting the weapon a lot easier since you sleeper one shots to the body. And that means you just don't have to aim as much. Sleeper is a lot easier to use compared to Arbalist to say the least. So that is a way of getting it to get to heroic. I mean, there's not really much I can tell you other than just kind of like you need to win four games, I think. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you other than you just kind of need to win four games. So it's not too difficult. Kind of just stick with it. If you've already finished your, your linear fusion rifle kills, then just run symmetry, get some progress for the catalyst while you're doing it. So for the actual weapon, what do we got here? We have no distractions, which is the first time we see this on a linear fusion. Moving target, eye of the storm, and box breathing. You can kind of go with no distractions eye of the storm on this just because while you're aiming and taking damage it'll get more accurate and you also won't flinch at all so that's an option as well as moving target and box breathing could be fairly good even though box this is more for pve but not even uh like you don't need box breathing so eye of the storm is the way to go for it 100 percent box breathing has just been a pretty terrible perk honestly uh since it got nerfed it's only real use was for snipers to one shot in PvP and with the 20% increase in damage to precision hits on linear fusions they can one hit in PvP so that's it, the box breathing isn't really needed uh, so definitely always run Eye of the Storm with this guy not that I understand why you'd be using a linear fusion as your heavy in PvP when you can just use like a rocket, a grenade launcher even a sword honestly would probably be better I just... I, Nah, I don't, I don't see why you'd want to run a linear fusion as a heavy. Other than that, guys, Arbalist. You also have the enhanced linear fusion rifle targeting on the uh, artifact this season, as well as the glitch you can do at the moment where you can get heavy ammo from special ammo bricks. The quest is pretty easy. This one did take me probably the longest just because I was kind of fucking around. So, and I didn't use the heavy ammo glitch. But you should be able to get this done within a couple hours, no problem. If you guys found this guide useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content. We're going to be looking at a lot more weapons that have come out this season because there's some pretty, pretty cool stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.